So today I'm going to be showing you how to encode your password before you store it in a database. So currently our password is not encoded. So if I go to check the table in MySQL, you'll see that our password is not encoded. So let's open the table uh, and check the, 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 the user table and I'm going to show you the password is not encoded. So if I say select star from user you can see that the password here is gift. You can see right here and that is not very good. We are going to actually encode it because it's not good to store your password in plain text. So it's only three steps. Uh, we are going to be taking this first step here, second and third, and these correspond to part 41 of our complete Spring application step-by-step. Uh, uh, step. So if you want the complete application, the tutorial for this application I'm building now, is there in the description box. You can find it and start from step one and follow it all the way to where we are currently. So it's very easy, it's step by step. All the codes you need are provided. So let me show you how to encode your password. So the first so first I want to mention that we will be using bcrypt password encoder. The reason is because there are a number of encoders out there but bcrypt offers a stronger protection uh, than many other ones. So for instance, if you go to check bcrypt, uh, bcrypt, you will get a whole lot of information about bcrypt, uh, let's say bcrypt password encoder, you get a whole lot of information about it. So uh, you can actually generate the password here, you can uh, read about the encoder right here. So it's stronger than SHA256, uh, 256, MD5 and a few other ones. So let's go to do it right now. So the first step says create the bcrypt password encoder bin in the application security config file. Remember that in the application security config file, we set a password encoder because if you are creating a DAO authentication provider, you must set a provider. So we actually set something called a no op password encoder. So if I look at my application security config file, you can see that this bin we created here is a password encoder, but it's no op password encoder. You can see uh, it's no op password encoder. And the system actually rules it saying that it is deprecated and actually it's not secure. So in real application, we are never gonna do something like this. So let's change it right now. So this is the bin, I've written it. So basically instead of saying uh, no op, instead of saying password encoder here, simply say, uh, bcrypt password encoder. So I'm going to write this side by side right here. So it's basically the same thing. Public pa uh, public password encoder, password encoder, return no password encoder. Here I'm now using bcrypt password encoder, okay? So and I'm returning new bcrypt password encoder, okay? So I'm now going to pass this, uh, um, I'm now going to, instead of using this password encoder here, I'm going to use uh, this bcrypt password encoder. I don't remember if it's called constructor injection, but let me use bcrypt, bcrypt password encoder here instead of just password encoder. So at this point, I'm giving the provider a bcrypt password encoder, okay? So, but now this password encoder we set here uh, is fine, but when we are saving the password, we also need to encode it before we save. And to save, we normally use the service. So that brings us to the next step. Set the encoder to use bcrypt password encoder, which is what we just did. And the third step says open the user service, modify the save methods uh, so that we can actually uh, encode the password before we save the user. Remember the user is coming from a form, a registration form. So the user is entering this password as plain text. So if I go to the, if I go to the user, to the login page, I'm entering this password as plain text, although it's showing us uh, password characters, but it's plain text that goes to the database if it's not encoded, okay? So before we actually save a new user, so let's first go to the services and go to the user service. Before we actually save this user right here, we will have to encode the, the password. And what we are going to do is first, we are going to uh, set the password and then we are going to, so basically we are going to say something like this, uh, 
and I also need to use the bin, the password encoder bin, I need to use it here. So I'm going to auto wire the password encoder bin. So auto wired private bcrypt uh, bcrypt password encoder encoder bcrypt password encoder encoder because I want to use this here so we need to auto wire it uh, as you know so that's something you already know called um, um, a dependency injection so let's see all right so uh, so I now I'm now have to I'm, I now have to say user the site password now I can now say user dot get password okay so we have this user dot get password is the same password of the user that is coming we know but we need to encode it before we uh, before we need to simply encode it so I'm going to simply say encoder encoder dot encode encoder dot encode and now specify the uh, the password to encode okay I think uh, it will be okay at this point so we encode the password before we save it to the database that is what is happening here all right uh, I would like us to test it we are actually going to test it now first by creating a new user and then checking that the password saved as an encoded password uh, so let's rerun this application and then we test it so I'm going to rerun this application at this point and then I'm going to create a new user object I'm going to actually register a new user and then we are going to go back to SQL uh, to, to MySQL to check the, the password to see if it's actually encoded our password before it saved the user object so let's go to uh, the page I'm going to uh, log out if yeah log out good so I'm going to go to sign up so let's create a new user uh, let me just create a new user let's say uh, how about creating a new user say trust uh, okay okay so trust uh, okay username trust okay and password let's use the same password gift and the same password gift FT okay so I'm going to register a new user you can see user successfully registered so you can now log in with the new uh, user called trust okay and this is fine okay so there is some typo somewhere but you can see that the new user was created and you have uh, trust here okay so if I go to my SQL database now and I issue this query again you can see that user number five trust uh, you can see that the password is encoded right here and another thing I want to tell you I can actually encode all this but all these other ones because it's actually the same the same um, the same encoder that is used so you can actually uh, uh, you can actually write an update statement update uh, password set update uh, sorry update user set password uh, equal to uh, you can actually say select password from user where uh, where ID equal to 5 so because I mentioned that I'm going to be also teaching you a bit of a uh, bit of my skill so that's what is happening here so at this point we are going to uh, update every other uh, row there to a new password you can specify target table user uh, select okay so we are going to be talking about this SQL later because I'm running out of time it says you can specify target table user from uh, table user for updates in from close so so I think I'll stop here I'd like to thank you for viewing we are going to fix this later on um, I remain kind on the tech pro if you have any challenges please let me know and I'll help you fix it